now. Thank you. Ahi, ahi, Marie. Good afternoon to students, teachers, and parents, and lots of ex-students who I see in the audience there. Thank you for attending our senior prize giving for 2022. This prize giving will celebrate the learning success of years 11, 12, and 13 students. We'll also celebrate the year 13 students who are graduating, making this their final assembly and gathering in school, and announcing the student leadership team for 2023. 2022 has once again been a year with interruptions, insecurity, and uncertainty around COVID-19. While we didn't experience lockdowns, school was affected in a different way. COVID became a reality and something that we lived with on an everyday basis. We dealt with the effects of getting COVID ourselves, but also completing isolation periods at home with family members. Regular attendance was an anomaly rather than the norm. It's a real testament to our young people here today that so many of them have achieved to such a high standard. This year also reaffirmed the connection that Waihi College has with our local community, with offers of help to students and their families, the creation of Kai care packages, and an expansion of mixed learning practices. Thank you to all of you who were involved in that. I'd like to welcome parents, whanau, and caregivers who are sharing this prize giving with us today in the hall. It's the first time in a number of years that we've been able to host large events like this in the hall and invite our community in. Thank you for taking the time to attend today and we really appreciate your support. I'd also like to welcome parents, whanau, caregivers, and community members who are watching on the live stream. Thank you to you as well. We're glad you're able to join us and celebrate with us, albeit in a new and more distant way. I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank all the local businesses and donors who contributed to this end of year prize giving. Your support to our students and school is very, very much appreciated. Before we start the presentation of the awards, I'd like to thank your teachers for their hard work this year. They've worked tirelessly for you this year and I encourage those of you who've got study leave to reciprocate this hard work and make sure you're well prepared for your exams. For those of you who have not gained study leave yet, be assured that when you return to school, for some of you tomorrow, your teachers will continue to support and encourage you for as long as you need them. I'm now going to hand over to Alistair Cochran, who is going to give his final address. It gives me pleasure to stand here and welcome you to the Senior Prize Giving for 2022. Joe has, has stolen some of my thunder in thanking quite a few of the people, but I'm going to do it again anyway because I think it's important. The past three years, <coughs> excuse me, as Joe has said, COVID-19 has had a huge impact on us as a country and on us as schools. And trying to manage the day-to-dayness of COVID-19 has sometimes been a challenge. Recently, the government has loosened the restrictions and given us back some of our lives and meant that we could do certain things that we couldn't do before. However, in saying that, sometimes you get caught between the changes and the prize giving is no, no exception to that. We didn't know we were going to be able to do this until a month or so back. And in the meantime, we had made plans as to how best to celebrate the achievements of our students. Then the rules changed and we had to do it differently. Or we had the opportunity to do it differently. And so for 2022, we've actually got two prize givings that is going to celebrate the achievements of our students. As Joe said, this is one of them, the opportunity to support this group, but also what we have done in the past over the last couple of years is the year 13s, which is their last year at school, we've organised a different, a different way of actually celebrating their last year at school. And we wanted to continue that in 2022, but still do this. I think 2023 we will be going back to the model of everybody in the same place doing the same thing. So I guess there's a little bit of an apology there, but also an explanation as to why we're doing things a little bit different this year. Um, and to the parents, thank you. Thank you for coming along. And if you get a chance, if you're coming along tonight as well, good on you for making that effort. And I know some parents are a little frustrated that they couldn't come along tonight, but we're just caught in that change. 
And so we'll manage that, and in 2023 we will be doing it differently again. I'd just like to say to the students, congratulations. Because <clears throat> over the last, couple, last week or so, we have had a variety of different celebrations to try and recognise the achievements of the students, whether it be on the sports fields or courts, whether it be through art and culture, and tonight or today we're doing the Academic Awards. If you got nominated anywhere amongst those events, congratulations. Even if you didn't get the, the trophy or the, the certificate at the end, well done. Because I know that over the last two or three years, things have been tough. And actually developing resilience and commitment and keeping trying through those times, the fact that you're actually here actually celebrating this it means that you have succeeded in that way. There are a number of your peers and colleagues who haven't come back and been able to re-engage in education, which is sad. But I'd just like to say congratulations to all of you because the majority of you have made it through the year. You've achieved your goals. You're being recognised for your achievements. And if you've got exams coming up over the next couple of weeks, good luck with those. What it really tells me about is your commitment, your resilience. So on your behalf, I'd just like to thank a few people. I'd like to thank the Board of Trustees. And like everything else, not all the Board could be here. Normally in an evening they could make it. But again, we have to deal with what we've got. Scott's sitting here representing the Board tonight. And we have another Board member in the audience. So I'd like to thank the Board for their ongoing work. It was as difficult for us to manage the changes as it was for you as students and parents. I'd like to thank my senior leadership team. Over the last two or three years, if I took a, if I put a dollar in a jar for every time we had to change direction because someone changed the rules, I'd have quite a few dollars in the jar. And my team have actually been fantastic actually riding with the punches and manoeuvring and, and making things as good as we can for our students. I'd also like to thank the staff because it's been just as difficult for your teachers to have to manage those changes as it has for us as leaders. Face masks, ventilation, hand sanitizer, all of those things were extra to what we thought of before. And then some of those rules being changed. You could have a, a, a field trip, then you couldn't have a field trip, and then you could have it again. Everything changed really quickly. So I'd just like to say a big, big thank you to all the teachers for their care and their work. And it was interesting. We farewelled the Year 13s with a breakfast this morning. And one of the students stood up and actually thanked the teachers. She, was, she admitted she wasn't the most perfect student travelling through our school over the years but she recognised the commitment and the, and the perseverance of the teachers to continue to help her. And I think that applies to many students, even if you're not necessarily recognising it now. Their care is really important and valued. So thank you to the teachers. And to the parents in the community, it's been just as difficult for you guys over the last two or three years as it has been for us. And I'd just like to say well done. The fact that your kids are sitting here being recognised for their achievements, you should feel proud of that. The fact that you provided a nice, stable, supportive environment to come and go and deal with the vagaries that we've had to deal with. So to parents and our community, thank you very much. The business community, as Joe um, talked about before, thank you to them. Their income streams have gone like this over the last year or two. Have they stopped supporting Waihi College? No, they haven't. And so even when they've been on an income down, their support of our school has continued. So if you get the opportunity to support local, please do, because they're supporting us and they're supporting our young people. So thank you. So to all of you, well done. I'm forever hopeful that 2023 will be just a little bit more consistent. And yes, the re restrictions have been removed now, but we have to learn to live with COVID in our midst. I'm hoping that a lot of the things that we were able to do in the past will continue to be able to do in the future. 
but I'd just like to finish my presentation by saying congratulations once again to all the students. I hope you all get the opportunity to enjoy the summer break, but please stay safe out there, because I'd really like you all to be back with us or enjoying our journey next year. I'm going to say some special words to the Year 13s at the dinner tonight, so I won't speak about that now. However, one of the things that we always get the privilege to do is to recognise the gold company and the contribution that they make to us every year. They give us a donation of $30,000 every year amongst some scholarships. It's during the day, they couldn't be here, so I'm going to invite the student rep on the board of trustees, I'm oh, sorry, not on the board, on the trustees, on our trust, on the gold company trust, which is Divyash Swami, to come and say a few words on behalf of our trust. Divyash. Sir, tēnā koto katoa, ko Pukewa tuku maunga, ko Ohine muri tuku awa, ko Swami tuku fano, ko Yeshwant Swami tuku matua, ko Vishalini Kapoor tuku fire, ko Devya Swami tuku ingwa, no Fiji aho, no reira tēnā koto, tēnā koto, tēnā tato katoa. Kia ora everyone. Today I'm here to talk about something that some of you might not know about, and that's the and that is the Waihi Gold Company Trust. For those of you who don't know, Waihi College is fortunate enough to be given $40,000 annually from Oceana Gold, and we have that as the Waihi Gold Company Trust, where meetings are held to see where this money can be used for. The Waihi Gold Mining Trust consists of two representatives from the school, which this year is myself and Mr. Cochran, along with two representatives from the mine and two representatives, representatives from the community. Out of the $40,000 that are given, 30000 of it gets used up by the college for whatever supplies we might need. For example, a lot of that money has been used towards getting new technologies such as Chromebooks for students to use. New fridges that are used to hold our uh, Kai Care packs were brought from this money, along with musical instruments as well. Now, some of you in the audience might be thinking, where does the other 10000 go? Well, the $10,000 that's left over from the trust is broken up into five $2,000 scholarships which are then given out to the top five level three NCA students to reward them for their hard work, so no pressure. Once again, we are very grateful and fortunate to have this Waihi Gold Mining Trust as it allows us to spend it on so some things that we couldn't usually afford. And another main purpose for this trust has been, and the main purpose for this trust to be set up is to support the youth of Waihi, which is you guys. So a huge thank you to the Waihi Gold Company for this and I will hand over the year's check to Mr. Cochran. We're now going to start the first part of the prize giving, which is to celebrate these beautiful Year 13 students who are graduating this year. Year 13. 13 years of attending school, learning new things, working out who your friends are, good and bad decisions. 13 years to make a decision about what next. After today, there'll be no more asking to go to the toilet, no more waiting for the bell, and no more checking your attendance on Kmart. At the start of this year, plans were put in place, personal goals were set, various committees and activities were put in place as we headed back to school, prepared for a great final year at Waihi College. Things might not always have gone to plan, but you did it. You made it all the way to the end, and it's great to see the fine young men and women sitting here today. Now, though, it is time to bid our Year 13 students all the best on the next part of their journey. Some have already secured apprenticeships, jobs or are going on to tertiary studies. Enjoy the next stages of your life. Make the most of the opportunities that come your way. I look, up to, I look forward to catching up with you in the future because the Waihi College door is always open. I'm gonna hand over to Kayarahi now who are gonna present your graduation and we will start off with Mr. Budgen and Emeranth. Kia ora everyone. Uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to uh, call out names and if you could come and line up just below the uh, stairs here and then we will read out uh, the little blurbs as you come up and shake Mr. Buchanan's hand. Yeah. So from Amaranth, we have uh, Liam Kelly, Riley East, Regan Green, Naomi Lazlett, 
and Keisha Orgoth. Okay, Liam. Next year, Liam will make his way to Toho Mai in Tauranga to study automotive engineering. He is then planning on completing an apprenticeship, also ran by Toho Mai. Lee, hang on, hold your applause. Yeah. Liam was also a member of the 2021 basketball team that has represented the college in Thames Valley and Bay of Plenty Athletics. Oh, sorry, has also represented us at Thames Valley and Bay of Plenty Athletics. His fondest memory is the adventure tourism fishing charter trip with the boys. Hey, Marissa Dodd. This year, Marissa has been in the board committee and last year was part of the Police Studies Super Tuesday that went to Wellington and took part in the Blue Light Defence Force Comp Camp. Next year, Marissa will be heading down to Dunedin to study uh, physiotherapy at the University of Otago. Her favourite memory at Waihe College was the year's, uh, this year's art trip to Auckland. Marissa's advice to other students is to relax and do your best. Riley East. Riley's future plans are to go to university to study business. Since year seven, Riley has played netball and or basketball and has represented the school through, through swimming. Her fondest memories of Wahi College are spending time with her friends and helping her basketball team make, the, make it into the 2022 secondary school nationals. Riley's advice for other students is to embrace the extracurricular activities at Waihe College. Regan Green. This year, Regan was one of the two Amaranth House Leaders and has helped with many events. Next year, Regan is planning to start an electrical apprenticeship while at Waihe College. Regan has played across many sporting codes. He has been most successful playing basketball and has even represented Tauranga and New Zealand. His favourite memory is winning basketball prems in year nine. Regan's advice to other students is get involved in a team or group. Naomi Leslett. Naomi joined Waihe College in 2018. Next year, she plans to move to Nelson to attend the Nelson Marlborough Institute of Technology and uh, complete the Conservation Trainee Rangers course. While at Waihe College, Naomi has been a part of the LEOs, the, school, the Waihe Scouts, and SAD, as well as being in the 2022 Environmental Leader. Her most memorable moments is, is the 2021 First Aid Camp. Her advice to other students is to be nice to all of your teachers. <laughs> really. Um, and Keisha. Next year, <laughs> next year, Keisha plans to begin her journey to become a primary school teacher by studying for a diploma of early childhood care at Tohumai. This year has, uh, has been a, a part of the Ball Committee and Spirit Day Committee. She has been a part of the Whangamata Girls Rugby and also represented Thames Valley last year in the under-21 team. Keisha's favourite memory of Waihe College is the Year 10 camp. Her advice to other students is enjoy your time before entering the real world. Well done to Amaranth team. I was calling upon, uh, upon Dominion to come up and present this. There's quite a few Year 13s in Dominion, so I'm not going to call them all up at once. Well, some of them will be there for 10 minutes because I timed us to see how long. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first up. Um, that's right, I'm just checking the light and, and realising how smart my colleagues were who printed this on white paper because it's quite hard to read on green backgrounds. All right, here we go. Um, Honza Andrews, please come up. Evelyn Aravello, Matt Barakat, Tangimai Barnett, and Jean Branch. Right. Honza Andrews. Next year, Honza will be 
doing a three-year Bachelor of Applied Information Technology at WinTech Hamilton. He has been a member of the Waihi Miners Under-16 New Zealand inline hockey team, which went to Hawaii, and he enjoys casual golf. <laughs> His fondest memory is of the Wellington trip in 2021 with Jeff Cochran's Super Tuesday. And he had a lot of fun uh, exploring and getting to know Wellington. His advice for other students is, enjoy years seven to 10, you have no responsibilities. <laughs> Evelyn Aravello. Evelyn has decided to look for work when she leaves. Oh, she is cute. <laughs> Evelyn has decided to look for work when she leaves and uh, she's gonna see what the future looks like to her. She also is going to try to survive the world without daily words of wisdom from Miss Howe. During her time at Waihi College, Evelyn has participated in drama, been a lifeguard, done the beekeeping course and courses at Toi Ohomo. Her goal this year was to be a house leader. Evelyn's best memory is meeting and falling in love with her soulmate, Aria. <laughs> Evelyn's advice for her tainer, don't be the teacher's pet, be the teacher's favorite. <laughs> Matt Barakat. Next year, Matt will be going to Wintec in Hamilton to study a Diploma of Electrical Engineering. Matt has been at Waihi College since 2016. He has played inline hockey for the Waihi Miners Club for years. He has been taken overseas to play for the New Zealand team a few times. The event he remembers best is the time that Mr. McNeil fell when leaning on the whiteboard. And Zach Coombe was the only one laughing because everyone else thought he was dead. <laughs> His advice for other students is, enjoy the younger years of college because the older you get at school, the less free time you have. Also, take every opportunity given to you during your time at Waihi College. It's worth it. Tangimai Barnett. Next year, Tangimai has no set plans and we'll think about next year when it gets here. Tangimai has been um, a part of a variety of sports teams like netball, basketball, touch, and volleyball for the school. She has taken part in the Waihi Netball Reps and Thames Valley Reps, netball clubs, and Hoop Nation. Her best memory of Waihi College is going to the Prems, Eunice, and Nationals. Tangimai's advice for Tina is, Tina is don't be so focused on school have a life. <laughs> Go out with your friends. Play sports. Jean Branch. Next year, Jean will be going to WinTech to study health and well-being so that she can get a job as a support worker. Jean has enjoyed her time here at Waihi College, especially being part of the Leo Club and participating in the board committee this year. One of her best memories while she's been at Waihi College has been spirit days. Jean's advice to Taina would be to do your best and keep trying. All right. All right, will the following students please come up? Sean Choi, Bailey Kainamu, Langi Marie Kohu Narimu, Sheila Manawat, Lily North and Via Tolafu. I might just the first name of this one. Sean. Next year, Sean plans to go to Victoria University of Wellington to study architecture. No, I'm not going to say it this time. Sean is being involved in Leo's club and helped with the Matariki concert and keep Waihi clean. His advice to other students is, don't be afraid to ask questions and don't leave your work to the last minute. <laughs> Bailey. Next year, Bailey wants to become an electrician or go to work in the mine. Bailey has been at Waihi College since 2016 and this year she has been involved in the board committee. One of her best memories while she was at Waihi College was 
yelling at people in a cafe with Shikan. Her advice for other students is, don't be petty about stupid drama. Grow up. <laughs> Langi Marie. Langi Marie is planning to take a gap year in 2023 to work full time. Then in 2024, she will start studying at Toi Ohomai in Tauranga or vet nursing. Langi Marie has participated in the following sports teams while she was at Waihi College senior girls netball uh, development team, junior girls A basketball team. She has also taken part in the Tiara Potama Kapahaka Rupu. Some of her best moments have been on school trips, lunchtime, spirit days, hauraki festival and fundraisers. Langi Marie's advice to Tana is make the most of your time here at Waihi College and enjoy it. Sheila. Next year, Sheila hopes to go to University of Waikato in Hamilton to study a Bachelor of Law and or a Bachelor of Arts majoring in political science. Sheila has been involved in a wide range of groups and activities over the past two years. She is a house leader for Dominion and has been involved in doing fundraisers and helping out in the school and community. She is a member of the Leo's Club in SAD and was part of the 2022 Ball Committee and Planning the Spirit Days. She has many fond memories, but one that stands out was an amazing geo trip. Her one piece of advice for younger students is, live your life to the fullest, make mistakes and learn from them, take risks and grab those opportunities because you will never be a teenager again, living the life before adulthood. <laughs> Lily, next year, Lily plans to start training to become a paramedic with St. John's while working part-time at a local kindergarten. Over the last two years, Lily has practiced, sorry, participated in development basketball and senior netball, police studies in 2021, and police studies mentoring in 2022. She was a student leader of community in 2022. advice was she said I'll think about it and get back to you <laughs> then she said actually that's good advice if someone asks you for an opinion and you're not ready to give it just say I'll think about it and get back to you <laughs> Via. next year Via plans to go to the University of Waikato in Hamilton to study for a Bachelor of Communication in Public Relations and Leadership Communication during her time here V has participated in senior basketball and volleyball. Uh, v also does work for the district council. V's best memory is making it to national. M A I M A O, in my arrogant opinion. All right. Year 13's in two groups also. So firstly, Alex Bainbridge, Joe Burrell, Lily Chambers, um, Shikan Harper, Haley, Natalie Malham, and Haley Morgan. Um, thank you. I don't think Alex is here, but Alex... Bainbridge um, is heading to the Southern Institute of Technology to study archit architectural technology. Um, Alex returns here uh, to Waihi College in year 13 after several years away, and he's been a keen tennis player whilst here. Joe Burrow. Joe has already gained em employment as a quarry manager at Patitonga Quarry. Joe has enjoyed his time at Waihi College and was a key member of the boys' first election. Yeah. <laughs> Lily Chambers. 
Lily is off to study a Bachelor of Applied Science at Otago University next year, majoring in physical education and health with a minor in geography. Um, Lily has made the most of her time at Waihee College and in year 13 has been involved. and she's been the, the leader of well-being. Um, her favorite memory is the year 13 geography trip to Rotorua, and her advice to younger students is to do your work in class and not leave things to the last minute at midnight. <laughs> um, Shikan, Shikan Harper. Shikan has gained an apprenticeship at NES Hire, um, her favorite memory is yelling at people with Bailey in the cafe class. And her advice off to Toyohamai uh, to study hairdressing and styling. Uh, she would also like to spend time in Melbourne with family and get a hairdressing apprenticeship over there. She hopes to keep focused. levels. She would love to hopefully build a business one day, um, coaching young horses and young riders. And Natalie has been a very important member of the Waihee College Equestrian Team. And Hayley Morgan. Hayley is off to university or Toyahmai to study sport and recreation, or maybe take a gap year and work full time. Haley has been an extreme bowls, volleyball, netball, and touch. Um, Haley has also been a uh, very effective Empire House leader this year. Um, her favorite memory is playing in the basketball qualifiers and making it to nationals. Haley's advice to other students is to not leave it to the last minute and get your work done on time. Great advice. Thank you, guys. Well done. Um, the next group, Manaya Nathan, Lily Pilkington Brody, Kellam Ropiha, Flynn van der Zwan, and Aria Waite. Manaya. Manaya is off to Otago University next year to study marine science and hopes to do an exchange overseas. Manaya has been at Waihee College since year seven and hopes to become a marine scientist one day. Uh, she will begin this journey next year at Otago. Manaya has represented Waihee College over the years in both netball and basketball. Her best memory of Waihee College is learning things she will never use again. <laughs> <laughs> and her advice to other students is to just keep swimming. Lily. Lily PB. Lily plans also to go to Otago University to study health science as she is interested and very passionate about the healthcare industry. Lily has played basketball and volleyball at Waihee College. Um, she has completed the beekeeping course whilst here. Lily's advice to other students is that everything happens for a reason. Thank you, Lily. Next up is Kellum. Kellum is hoping to get into <laughs> hoping to get into a trade next year, or even carry on with his rugby. He has been a keen sportsman in his time at Waihee College and an invaluable member His favorite memories have been having yarns with Maka during police studies and senior hub. 
Flynn. <laughs> Flynn is hoping to go to Wintech to complete a pre-trade course or maybe apply for a job at Alton's Drilling next year. he for many many years he has also been one of our key anchors um, on the Phoenix TV news program every Wednesday morning his best memory of why college has been his PE classes and Aria <laughs> Aria is not quite sure what she's going to do next year maybe work maybe study Aria has been an outstanding sportswoman during her time at Wahi. Athletics and touch. And not surprisingly, her best memory here has been falling in love with her soulmate, Evelyn. <laughs> her advice to other students is that laziness is the mother of all bad habits. But ultimately, she is a mother and we must respect her. Well done, Empire. Thank you. Kia ora. So, Royal House, we're going to follow the same format and do it in two groups as well. First of all, we've got Nisha Bellamy, Ali Adas, Shaden Delamere. Izzy Faber, Zach McKickney, Brooke Moore, and Jake Nicholson. So, Nisha. Next year, Nisha plans on going to AUT to study visual arts. This year, Nisha has been part of the leadership group as a leader of arts. She was on the Bull and SAD committees helped run the bake sale fundraisers for year seven and eight formal and peer support. And their raft flipped while white water rafting. Alia. Alia joined Wai College last year. Next year, she plans to study criminology. This year, she has been part of the board committee and thoroughly enjoyed her police studies. Her advice for all other students is don't take school too seriously, create memories, not stress. <clears throat> Next year, Shaden will be looking for some work, hopefully in the security, uh, security industry. Shaden has been involved with Waihi College first team rugby and kapa haka. Shaden's best memory is all the important life lessons he learnt from Mr. Cooper. His advice. Waihi College has to offer. Izzy. Next year, Izzy will be studying pharmacology and neurology under a Bachelor of Medical Health Science at Auckland University. Izzy was involved with Waihi College netball from years 7 to 11. Izzy's best memories of her and is pleased that she will now be able to use them in the next few years. Izzy's words of wisdom, uh, she'll be all right, just don't give up. Zach. Next year, Zach plans to study architecture at Victoria University. This year, he was involved with the ball committee, and his best memory at Waihi College is the times he spent with friends. Zach's advice for others. Try not to be a bad one, and the good will come naturally. Brooke. Next year, Brooke plans to work full-time until July. <clears throat> then she will be attending the New Zealand School of Tourism in Auckland. For the past two years, Brooke has helped coach her sister's basketball team. Brooke's best memory of her time here at Waihi College was catching COVID. to make the most of your time at school. 
Stay for as long as you can and have fun. And Jake. Jake plans to attend Waikato University to complete a degree of computer science. Jake's favourite memories of his time at Waikato College are hanging out with his friends before school and at break times. His advice to fellow students is to work and study hard, but make sure you have a good work play balance. Well done. I haven't got them. Okay, the last half of Royal. Can I please have Lily Rickard, Lily Sanford, Erica Serenado, Victoria Sturt, Taryn Jot Sunner, and Jason Yeh. Uh, Lily Rickard. Uh, Lily is heading off to Toa Mai to study music. She has been a member of Waihi College Netball and participated in the Japan Exchange. This year she has been a valued royal house leader. Her best memory of time, her best memory of time at Waihi College is enjoy every moment at school. Before you know it, you'll be graduating. Uh, Lily Sanford, she's not here. Uh, but Lily is going to work at Beach Kids Childcare next year. This year Lily has been involved in the Waihi College Ball Committee and helping out Wendy with the ball photos. Lily's best memory of her time at Waihi College was this year's school ball. <laughs> Lily's advice to her fellow students is to keep your head held high no matter what obstacles you face at school. Erica. <clears throat> next year, Erica plans to go to Waikato University to attain a degree in commercial law and accounting. In the future, she would like to work in forensic accounting while travelling the world. For the past two years, she has been a part of the LEOs and SAD committees. Her best advice for others is take school slowly and don't rush into things as school can go by really quickly. Victoria. Next year, Victoria will be studying early child care while working full-time at a daycare in Waihi. This year, Victoria has been involved with the running of the Year 7 and 8 formal, spirit days and playing netball. Her best memory is while attending a first aid camp, a group of us shared a bottle of milk. Um, Terenjot, um, not here, but uh, next year Terenjot plans to attend Waikato University to study law or civil, uh, civil engineering. During his time at Waihi College, he has been involved with the chess club, debating club, and police studies. Terenjot's favorite memories of his time at school are spirit days, field trips, and school camps. Terenjot's advice to fellow students is try as many different activities that you can while you're at school. Jason. Next year, Jason is heading off to Auckland University to study health science or AUT for physiotherapy. Jason has an interest in badminton and is a member of the Waihi Badminton Club. Jason's fondest memories at Waihi College have been meeting a variety of students and teachers. Jason's words of... Um, congratulations to all the Year 13 students. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you very much to the Kayara here who presented those um, awards today. We're going to watch a, a short video now of the Year 13s, um, and um, where you'll see them all for their final time. And we'll follow that with a performance from Jason Year, who will be playing on a, the piano at the front here, playing Your Lie in April. So over to the Year 13 graduation video first. Hey guys, I just want to say congratulations to the class of 2022. Guess what? We graduated. I didn't think I had the answers. Wish I didn't drink all of that glass first. Wish I made it to homecoming. Got up the courage to ask her. Wish I would have gotten out of my show. Wish I put the bottle back on that shelf. Wish I wouldn't have worried about what other people thought and felt comfortable with myself. Rooftop open. And the stars above. The moment frozen, sneaking out and falling in love. Me, you, and that full time. We just be
celebrate the year 11 students who have gained a class placing or effort award this year as we move on to the year 11 prizes. I'll read out you out in groups in alphabetical order. First in year 11 will be announced later in the prize giving in the special prizes towards the end. We know the drill. Please wait at the bottom of the steps until your name is called and then wait at the bottom of these steps until the whole group has been called and we will hold our applause please until the last person has walked across the stage. So could the following people please come forward. Logan Brady, Wesley Cameron, Paige Kepper, Scarlett Chambers, Justice Chapman, Ace Crow, Hayat Das, Emily Davidson, and Deanna Dodd. And I'm going to invite Miss Buchanan up um, to present these prizes, who's worked with the majority of these people in our Super Tuesday program. Logan Brady, Effort in Level 1 Foundation Mathematics. Luke Brown, Second in Level 1 Murders and Disasters. Braden Burr. First in Level 1 Engineering, First in Level 1 Outdoor Education, and Effort in Level 1 English. Zach's not with us today. He had Third and Effort in Level 1 Engineering. Wesley Cameron, Third in Level 1 Physical Education, Effort in Level 1 Applied Science, and Effort in Level 1 English. Paige Kepper, Effort in Level 1 Painting. Scarlett Chambers, Effort in Level 1 Hospitality, Effort in Level 1 English. Justice Chapman, Second in Level 1 Physical Education. Ace Crow, Effort in Level 1 Digital Technology. Hayat Das, First in Level 2 Mathematics, First in Level 1 Science, Second in Level 1 Hospitality, and Second in Level 1 History. Emily Davidson, first in Level 1 Physical Education and Effort in Level 1 English. Deanna Dodd, first in Level 1 Murders and Disasters and third in Level 1 Applied Science. Congratulations to those Year 11s. The next group of students to be presented are Maya Dodd, Naylene Donaldson, Campbell Douglas, Connor Evans, Ella Ford, Maggie Gerbich Burrows, Amy Harris, Ian Hartley, Jack Hensley, Zoe Hug, Lily Chambers, and Tia Hoare Jensen McMillan. Maya Dodd. First in Level 1 Hospitality, second in Level 1 Mathematics, third in Level 1 History, third in Level 1 Science, and effort in Level 1 English. Naylene Donaldson, 
first in level one drama, first in level one Te Māori, third in level one music. Campbell Douglas, second in level one applied science, second in effort in level one engineering, effort in level one science. Connor's not with us today. He was third in level one foundation mathematics. Ella is also away today. She was first in level one pathways. Maggie Gerbich Burrows, first in level one DBC, first in level one horticulture, first in level one art painting, second in level one English, third in level one mathematics, and effort in level one science. Amy Harris, first in level one health, third and effort in level one design and visual communication, third in level one art painting, effort in level one mathematics. Ian Hartley, second in level one music. Jack Hensley, second in level two cafe. Zoe, who's away today, had effort in level one applied science, effort in level one history. And Lily James, who had third in level one murders and disasters. Tia Hoare Jensen McMillan, third in level one design technology, effort in level one outdoor education. Congratulations. Our third group of Year 11 students are Bridie Jones, Keely McGee, Hamish McKinnon, Liam Middleton, Jack Miller, Samantha Morrow, Hamish Mudford, Mario Newton, Felix Nome, Farish O'Flaherty, and Chiron Pocotti. Bridie Jones. Third in level one English, effort in level one hospitality. Keely McGee is away today. She had effort in level one health. Hamish McKinnon. First in level one music, first in level one media design, second and effort in level one design of visual communication, effort in level one mathematics. Liam Middleton. Second in level one digital technology. Jack Miller. Third in level one, outdoor education. Samantha Morrow is away today. She was first in level one, geography, and third in level one, horticulture. Hamish Mudford. First in level one, mathematics. First in level one, English. First in level one, applied science. First in level one, digital technology. First in level one, history. Second in level one, science. Mario Newton. Effort in level one, physical education. Felix Nome, effort in level one of physical education. Farish O'Flaherty, second in level one outdoor education. Chiron Pocotti, effort in level one digital technology, effort in level one music, and effort in level one pathways. Congratulations. Our final group of Year 11 students that we're going to acknowledge this afternoon is Dylan Purvis, Angus Rogovine, Sabine Rush, Ezra Sargent, William Skur, Cassidy Shaw, Reuben Snow, Carl Sawley, Matthew Tahoe, Tyler Thompson, Talia Trepples, Nikki Twidal, and Isaac Windsor. Dylan Purvis. Effort in level one drama and effort in level one history. Angus Rogovine isn't with us. Oh, yeah, he is. There he is. Angus Rogovine, first in level one building and construction. Sabine Rush, second in level one foundation mathematics, third in level one geography. Ezra Sargent. Effort in level one outdoor education and effort in level one English. William is away today. He was second in level one pathways. Cassidy Shaw, 
first in level one foundation mathematics. Reuben Snow, third in level one pathways. Kyle Sawley, effort in level one drama. Matthew Toho is away today. He had effort in level one music. Tyler Thompson is also away, effort in level one foundation mathematics. Talia Trepples, second in effort in level one geography, second in level one horticulture. Nikki Twidal, second in level one art painting, second in level one health, effort in level one murders and disasters. And finally, Isaac Windsor, first in level two music. Congratulations to all of our year 11 winners. As I said, congratulations to those year 11 students. You've worked really hard all year, so you should be really proud of what you've achieved. We're going to go a little off piece now and watch the world premiere. I'm going to say that again, the world premiere of the short movie created by the Super Tuesday Phoenix Studio crew. Their project for the first semester was to create a horror movie, which they entered into the New Zealand school's short movie competition called On Screen. And they finished in the top 30 and were unlucky to miss out in the top 12. Congratulations to the students who finished there. Here it is, the world premiere of section 27. Four years now, students have been going missing. No one knows where they went or how they disappeared. They just disappear. Rumor has it. The Ministry of Education is behind it. Four years now, students have been going missing. No one knows where they went or how they disappeared. They just disappear. Rumour has it, the Ministry of Education is behind it, or that there is outdated legislation with a loophole. Even the possibility that teachers have had enough of students. But all we know is the ultimate punishment. Please, 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 no one's gonna know. Please, please. Hey, have you seen Gina today? Nah, haven't seen her since yesterday. She's always got something to do and somewhere to be. Oh, that's all right. Right, what's going on here? Screen's down. We're just on the computers, miss. Really? Are you on your phone, Gavin? Right, no. I'll be looking after that for three days. Thank uh, you. Safekeeping. I was just looking for a gift for my favourite teacher. Oh, really? How nice. Who said it was you? Oh, <laughs> right. Come with me, young man. Thank you. Be your teacher. It's looking better, but you've got a lot to do here. Uh, once you've all piled up, you've got a pile, go to the back, get yourself the brush and shovel. This is so stupid. Sir, is that you? I was just finishing up. Sir. Stop this. I'm out of here. <laughs> Gavin's in so much trouble. I can't believe we have to keep covering for him like this. We have to go to the school and get him. Wait, what's that? Is that Gavin's shoe? No. Why is it hidden? Oh. Nah, 
Let's turn back. We've got to call the cops. I left it at yours. Should we follow this blood trail? Never seen a horror movie before? You just stop being a pussy. You know just, the rules. You don't split up. Just stop being a pussy and go that way, and I'll go this way. And why am I even here? KFC, Zinger Burger. Jackson, you all right? students please come forward. Cullen Betteridge, Jack Dinage, Olivia Elliott, Seth Fruendorf, Dante Hamilton, Kira Hennessy, Jar Jar Holtz Taylor, Dora Hissing, Michael Lamontrip and Sarah Lowe please. Okay, Sarah Lowe. Effort and Level 2 Digital Designer. Jack Dinage, First and Level 2 Cafe, First and Level 2 Horticulture, Third and Level 2 Art Painting, Effort and Level 2 English. Olivia Elliott, Third and Level 2 History, Effort and Level 2 Advanced Hospitality. Seth Fruendorf, First in Level 2, Foundation Mathematics. First in Level 2, Outdoor Education and Effort in Level 2, Physics. Dante is not here today, but he got second in Level 2, Art Painting. Effort in Level 2, Foundation Mathematics and Effort in Level 2, Horticulture. Kira. Kira got seven, second in Level 2, Horticulture and Effort in Level 2, Mathematics. Jaja, third in level two horticulture. Dora, who's also away today, effort in level two travel and tourism, effort in level two music, and effort in level two outdoor education. Mika, first in level two art photography, effort in level two biology, and effort in level two English. Sarah, Second in Level 2 Mathematics, second in Level 2 Physics, and third in Level 2 Biology. Congratulations. <laughs> the next group of students to come forward, please, Nicholas Mannix, Tyler Miller, Adrian Nicholson, Dan Oliver, Noah Pelkinton Brody, Jordan Pirrett, James Rutherford, Evron Sayer, Michaela Snow, and Queenie Sue. Nicholas. First in level two, advanced hospitality, and third in level two, digital developer. 
Tyler. First in level two geography, first in level three physics, first in level two English, second in level two biology, and second in effort in level two chemistry. Adrian. Third in level two music. Dan. Second in level two digital developer. Noah, first in level two digital developer. Jordan, second in level two physical education and second in level two outdoor education. James, not here, um, second in level two history. Ebron, first in level two digital developer First in level two art painting and winner of the golden apple. Second in level two music and effort in level two English. Michaela's not with us today. Oh, she. <laughs> Michaela Snow. Third in level two foundation mathematics. And Queenie. First in level two history, effort in level two biology. Congratulations. <laughs> Our next group up, please. Debbie Ashwami, Kira Taylor, Meg Thomas, Monica Vaughan, Jade Waite, Jackson Walker, Oriwa Walters, Lucy Walton, Jada Williamson, and Jordan Juliana. Diviash. First in level two biology, first in level two chemistry, second in effort in level two geography, third in level two physics, third in level two English. Kara. First in level two hub work schools, second in level two English. Effort in level two textiles, technology. Meg. First in level two health, second in level two advanced hospitality, third in level two mathematics, and third in effort in level two geography. Monica, third in level two outdoor education, effort in level two advanced hospitality. Jade, second in level two health. Jackson, Second in level two, oh sorry, first in level two physical education and third in effort in level two chemistry. Oriwa. First in level two te ao Māori, second in level two foundation mathematics, third in level two digital designer. Lucy. Second in level two digital developer, effort in level two mathematics, effort in level two history. Jada. Third in level two health, effort in level two art photography. And Jordan. Second in level two physical education, effort in level two hub work skills. Congratulations, year 12. Congratulations to the Year 12 students. I'd now like to invite Erica Serenado to come up, please, for her address as the Leader of Learning for 2022. We finally did it. 13 years of our lives, and we have ended up at this moment, where every assessment, every sleepless night, every pass, and all of the laughter and tears have been worth it because we finally finished and I'm proud of every single one of us. Welcome to all the teachers, students and family here. 
My name is Erica Serenado, and I have had the privilege of being learning leader for 2022. To be honest, I was prolonging making the speech. I had just finished writing this last night because I realized this will probably be the last assembly I will have here, the last time I will be in front of all the amazing and supportive teachers, and the last day of our YA College lives. This year was a chance for all of us to get back to normality after some rough years of, from COVID. Although we are not fully there, all the prize givings over the last couple of days have been beautiful reminders that we are so close. We have had many successful events throughout the year, either through sports, services or the arts. But today, we're here to celebrate everyone's academic achievements. I just want to congratulate all of you as your hard work has been appreciated here today. It has been a remarkable last year for us and I'm glad to spend this year with some of the best people I know. To reflect back in our years at YA College, we have to start with the walkers. For us year 13s, we were the first year to be put in the walkers, Tainui and Te Aroha. All of us coming in on the first day back seeing the fresh new classrooms were so exciting. Some of us even got to see the classrooms being built from the ground up in year seven. And in perfect timing, right as we're leaving, the new toilets have just been built. <laughs> as, a year, as a new year eight student at Y College, I was amazed that we had so many different teachers for each class. But I gladly had Miss Little John as my first teacher here to guide me. I will never forget the atmosphere she created in her class we were probably really annoying, but all those annoying students all grew up to be amazing people. As we have passed on through the school year, we have seen so many other teachers and students enjoy working in the walkers as we once did before. And even walking past there today, I will never forget the memories all of us created in those classrooms. Each year up until this point has definitely been a challenge, but the teachers were always there to support us, even in disagreements. Each student here was shaped by every teacher we had and all of the efforts can be seen with us. And I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, thank you to all of you. I truly appreciate every single teacher I've had throughout my years at Wyatt College and I know all those students down there think too. For me, whether it be Mr. Wallace in English and debating, Mr. Gailey in almost every science I, I had, sorry I didn't pick him this year, but <laughs> as well as Miss Fitz, who has helped me explore my passion for cooking and was just there to talk about anything on my mind. Because without the support, and sometimes the nagging, I wouldn't be here today. My last thanks is to your class of 2022. Those incredible people down there have faced many challenges and changes together over the years. And we have all been each other's best supporters, but it was all worth it. This year has gone by way too fast, and although I'm sad we're all going in different directions next year, I'm immensely excited to see where life takes you. Because I know the memories we have created here will never be forgotten. Thank you. Thanks, Erica. Um, we're now gonna present the students in year 13 who have gained a second or third place in class or an effort award. The students who've gained a first in class placing will get their award later tonight at the Year 13 Celebration Dinner. I'd like to ask Mr. Hennessy to please step over to that side to present the certificates. Could the following students please come forward? Jean Branch, Sean Choi, Alia Des, Marissa Dodd, Bailey Kainamu, Natalie Malham, Sheila Manawat, Hayley Morgan, and Manaya Nathan. Jean Branch, Effort in Level 3 Cafe, Effort in Level 3 Hub Work Skills. Sean Choi, Second in Effort in Level 3 Design and Visual Communication. Alia Das, Second in Level 3 Hub Finance and Flatting. Marissa Dodd, Second in Level 3 Health, Second in Level 3 Biology, Effort in level three biology, and sorry, level three geography, 
Effort in level three hub service. Bailey Kainamu. Effort in level three art painting. Natalie Malham. Effort in level three hospitality and effort in level three biology. Sheila Manawat. Third in level three history. Hayley Morgan. Effort in level three physical education. And Manaya Nathan, third in level three biology. Congratulations. <laughs> and our second and final group of year 13 students is Jake Nicholson, Lily North, Lily Rickard, Kelly Mrupiha, Victoria Sturt, Taryn Jotsena, Flynn Vanderswan, Aria Waite, and Jason Yu. Jake Nicholson, second in level three digital developer, third in level three geography, effort in level three mathematics with statistics. Lily North, Second in level three art photography, effort in level three hub service, effort in level three outdoor education. Lily Rickard, second in level three advanced hospitality and second in level three music. Kelly Mrupiha, second in level three hub service, effort in level three hub finance and flatting and effort in level three outdoor education. Victoria Sturt, Third in level three hub service. Tellinger is away today. He was third in level three history. Flynn van der Zwan, third in level three music. Aria Waite, second in level three geography. Jason Ye, third in level three mathematics with calculus. Congratulations. Um, we're going to have a little bit of a furniture movement now, and I'd just like to ask the head students, they don't know they're doing this, but could the student leaders please push this piano over to the right-hand side there, please? Um, and we're going to have a performance from Tiara Putama, Kabahaka Ropu, please.
opportunity to thank all the prize winners that have uh, been up on stage, um, put in a great effort this year and have gained those rewards and hopefully there will be some more awards and some more happy faces tonight at the celebration dinner. Um, I am here to present two major awards, uh, one is the house trophy and the other is the recognitions draw for all your hard efforts in class. Uh, looking at the data this year, we had 258 students pick up recognitions, or 258 recognitions given. Some of you achieved multiple recognitions, um, and others were just lucky enough to pick up that one. It only takes one to win. I generate a spreadsheet. If you got seven recognitions, you get seven entries into that draw. Uh, this year I got Mr. Smith to, to take care of the numbers for me to make sure that uh, it was legit and I wasn't favouring anyone. Um, and the winner will pick up this lucky prize. Oh, sorry, it's backwards. There we go. <laughs> Much better. 
Again, local businesses contributing to our school year in and year out, absolutely fantastic. Um, m many of the prizes you've received in your envelopes and today are because of the generosity of those local businesses. Uh, but wasting no more time, the winner this year was Elijah Akuhata. Okay, the House Trophy. Um, it's been a big drive for senior leadership and staff to really lift House Spirit, and I really think we've taken some massive steps forward this year. It's been pretty fierce. The Year 13s have been right into it. Um, just for the parents, how the House Trophy works and how houses can get points. It's not just sports. Um, we do have the competitive sports element. Okay, this year the competitive sports element was taken out by Amaranth, okay? Um, we have our learning and achievement section, okay? So that's kids gaining those recognitions and those results in class. That was taken out by Empire, okay? As you can see, some, some pretty passionate people here. Um, lunchtime activities, which included sporting and cultural, was dominated this year by Royal. Yeah. Um, School values and service and, and the things that the rewards we just done there was, was stolen by Empire. Okay? Those, winning those categories alone, I suppose if you won all four, it might be a dead giveaway, but winning those categories, Amaranth, Empire, Royal, um, sharing those, meant that actually it came down to where your house placed. Did you get second? Did you get third? Did you end up fourth in those areas? Our house trophy, <laughs> kindly made and, and designed by Mr. Garman's way. Uh, so without further ado, the colour the, the, the bulb goes lets you know what house won. When that colour comes up, can those house leaders please come up on stage and be awarded the house trophy? So this year, the winner of the house competition is... Empire House leaders, please come up. Being an Amaranthian, it's a tough pill to swallow. Um, we've, we've, the light's been blue for the last few years. So, um, but having the luxury of sitting back and watching the house leaders fiercely compete and the kaiārahi are, are just as fierce in the staff room. Um, the banter has been great, but Empire, I have watched you absolutely throw 100% at getting that this year, so congratulations. Your efforts have proven to steal that from Amaranth, who have um, have to bow out. Um, I'm going to hand over to Miss Hal for the special awards. Thank you. This is the um, final section of the awards, and this is the special prizes. There are a number of special prizes that are awarded every year in a senior prize giving. They're for an outstanding achievement that may recognise the exceptional performance of a student. Um, it could be awarded in memory of a past student or teacher or as a scholarship for future study or work. This afternoon, we've got nine special prizes to award. And Mr. Cochran, I'd like to invite you to head over to the other side of the stage, please, to present those awards. The first three students to be presented have won awards for their work in the vocational pathways sector. Would the following students please come forward? And could Juni Ray and Carl Sutton from the Pacific Coast Technical Institute, PCTI, also come forward to present the awards? 
The students are Mika Lehman Tripp, Scarlett Chambers, and Hamish McKinnon. With these special prizes, none of the students know that they're getting these awards, so they may look a little bit shell-shocked. The first award is for the Epiculture Student of the Year. This award is presented to the student who's achieved the highest standard in the 2021-22 season of Epiculture. This student has a passion for the environment that has paired perfectly for the study and care of bees. The Epiculture Student of the Year is Mika Lehman Tripp. the PCTI Award for the Top Food and Manufacturing Student of the Year. This award is presented to the highest achieving student at the PCTI Food and Manufacturing Trades Academy. The winner of this award has shown dedication, hard work and imagination throughout the course this year. Congratulations to Scarlett Chambers. The Excellence Award for Wintec Trades Academy. This award is presented to the highest achieving student at the Wintec Construction and Infrastructure Trades Academy. This year's winner has shown commitment to the Trades Academy with his quiet, determined focus, while also achieving to a high level in all other subjects. Congratulations to Hamish McKinnon. Well done to those three students. Our next special prize is the Penny Bowden Trophy for Performing Arts. This award is in memory of Mr. Penny Bowden, who was a former head of English. This year, the award is given to a student who topped her class in drama, gave a spine-tingling performance at the spring concert, and has been the lead kayako for Tiara Putama. The winner of the Penny Bowden Trophy for Performing Arts is Naylene Dollison. Scholarship. This award is given to financially support a student who's entering into the trades industry, who shows hard work, determination, and a dedication to ongoing learning in their chosen trade. This year, the award of $1,000 is shared between a student in year 12 and another in year 13. Today, we're going to recognize the year, 13, oh, sorry, the year 12 student. The award goes to a young man who's completed two years of trades academy, is on track to complete level three this year, and has secured a full apprenticeship with Hutchins Engineering. He is hardworking, reliable, and dedicated to the trades. Congratulations. The Wahi Lions Trade Scholarship goes to Caleb Hutchins. <laughs> Tiara Putama Award. This award is presented by Faya Tuihana Jack Ainsley for someone who shows leadership qualities and is a positive role model for our Māori students. I think Faya is coming up now. 
Um, this year, the award goes to a student who doesn't just act as a positive role model for Māori students, she supports, leads, and teaches all of us the values and importance of Māoridom. She's a leader whose passion is truly contagious. Nā mihi, Nailene Donaldson. special award this afternoon is the Ryan Aluminium Trophy. This award was donated to the school by the Ryan family to recognise a service to school and the community. The winner of this trophy has captured what service is all about at our school. They've done this without any call for recognition and have brought other students on board and allowed them to shine. This person is the personification of leadership and generosity. Congratulations to Divyash Swami. We now come to our truly special awards. Go back, Mr. Cochran. Um, because now we're going to celebrate the, the people who have topped their whole year group um, in our academic assembly. First in year group is calculated by looking at the number of merit and excellence grades that students achieve throughout the year. We calculate a very complicated GPA, and as always, it was a very, very close run race, with some students' GPA split by two one hundredths of a point. It's sometimes easy to look at these students and think how lucky they are that they achieved such a high standard so easily. Let me assure you there is nothing easy about it. They have slogged, they have refined their work, accepted tough feedback at times, and had some really late nights to achieve these grades. The first award is for first in year 11. In no particular order would the following year 11 students come forward. Hyatt Das, Maya Dodd, and Hamish Mudford. Third place in year 11 goes to Maya Dodd. First and second this year was split by 0 0.02 points. So it was a very, very close run race. Second place in year 11 goes to Hamish Mudford. First in year 11 for 2022 is Hyatt Das. Congratulations to our year 11 winners. We now repeat the process for year 12 in no particular order with the following students come forward. Sarah Lowe, Tyler Miller, and Divyash Swami. Third place this year in year 12 goes to Sarah Lowe. <laughs> 
second in year 12 for 2022 is Divya Swami. And the winner, first in year 12 for 2022, congratulations, Tyler Miller. Well done to year 12. I'm just gonna take this opportunity to remind the students that if you have a trophy, um, there will be an opportunity to take photographs at the end in the foyer, um, and then please leave your trophies um, in the foyer at the end. I'm now gonna pass over to Mr. Cochran, who is going to announce the student leadership team for 2022. Thank you very much to those of you who've been student leaders this year. We wish you the best for the future, and here he comes. Kia ora, Ms. Hal. Okay, it gives me pleasure to announce um, the student leaders for 2023. And they've been through a process over the last few weeks as they've put forward their applications, they've written their speeches, they've been interviewed, and probably the hardest bit has been waiting. Um, we had a large group of students apply, and it's been fantastic to actually go through that process with them. Um, what I'd like to say to everybody who put their name forward, regardless of whether they got one of these roles or not, is to keep stepping forward. Don't, you don't have to have a title to be a leader. In fact, some of the greatest leaders in the world haven't had titles. And I think about people like Nelson Mandela. Didn't start off with a title, started off with a passion. So my message to you is keep stepping forward. Leading from within is often the most powerful and the most sustainable thing. However, in saying that, we do have leaders. I'd like, before I announce the new leaders for 2023, I'd like the leaders for 2022 to come forward, please. So the wellbeing leader, Lily Chambers, community leader, Lily North, service Divya Swami, Te O Māori, Shaden Delamere and Rangi Māori, Kohu Narimu. Environment was Naomi Laslett. Arts and culture was Nisha Bellamy. Learning was Erica Serenado. And the sports leader was Jade Waite. So get guys, come up on stage because these guys are going to hand over. They're going to hand over their leadership badges. So Thank you. Thank you for the work that you've done this year leading the student body. As I said in my speech, the last two or three years have been really difficult and having changes and disruptions as you guys have taken it in your stride and I, I applaud you for the work that you have done. But it gives me pleasure to actually announce the student leaders for 2023. The well-being leader for 2023 is Lucy Walton. The community leader for 2023, Meg Thomas. <laughs> Not sure how you're going to do this one, Divi, but you need to present the service award to yourself. The Te Māori Service Leader for 2023, Nailene Donaldson. The environment leader for 2023, 
Mika Lehman Tripp. The Arts and Cultural Leader for 2023, Jack Dinage. <laughs> the Learning Leader for 2023, Maya Dodd. Now there is only one, the sports leader for 2023, Joseph Frew. <laughs> so well done to you all. Congratulations on picking up those roles. I look forward to working with you next year. much for your attendance. You will also be able to leave. Um, and any prize winners, please remember you will be having your photographs in the foyer. Um, but I would ask the students to remain behind until I dismiss you. So school, please stand for the school song. <laughs> 